a lot of people have a relationship with this book. Uh, some people get it assigned to them, uh, and some people are lucky enough they get it as a gift. My grandfather gave me a copy of this book. Actually, he gave my older brother a copy of this book, and it sat unread for like a good decade until one day at 13, 14, I picked it up, and I looked at the pictures, and I put it down. And then one day at 15, 16, I read it, and it stayed with me, and my grandfather told me it was his favorite book. And then something happens, sometimes you get lucky and you're cleaning out your old room many, many years later and you find that copy again. And I did. And I remember the experience of reading it and it stayed with me. And uh, we thought, it's time to tell that story again. I wonder if we can. The movie's an adaptation of a classic. Uh, the book is a wonderful book. Everyone should read it if you haven't. Go home, read it right now, stop watching this. and. You know, you have to find its shape and find what are the story, what's the story within it that we want to tell now. And we really just stayed with the tale of Buck and his ascension and growth from puppy to a wolf. Um, and it became, we just found that it was a very moving story that spoke a lot about parenting, fathers, sons, children, parents, and um, how we all are raised by our environments uh, if we're lucky to become the best version of ourselves. When I started writing this one, I, I, I had no conception of what would be possible. I just said, let's tell the best story we can with the, a non-speaking canine protagonist and see if we can feel the human story inside that because we connect to dogs. Uh, and I had no sense of practicality about how we'll actually do that because if you think practically too soon, you won't even get past page one. And then when the thing was done and people said, you know, this is kind of good, maybe we should make this, we had to think very seriously about how are you going to make it. And very early on we realized that there's no uh, real artistic or ethical way to make this with live dogs. That for Buck to be the star of this film, we needed to be able to modulate his performance as we would an actor. And so one of the most incredible things I've ever seen in my life on a set was the performance of the actor playing Buck in motion capture, Terry Notary, the great Terry Notary, um, performing the role which was then painted by the brilliant, brilliant VFX team on this, uh, making it all real. So it's one of those wonderful things where you just have to be incredibly impractical so that brilliant people can come in and be practical later.